Now, it started as a joyride on a stolen ATV ended with a kidnapping, two carjackings, and a standoff. A 27-year-old identified as Brandon Atnip is in custody. New at 9, Fox 23's Lynn Casey is reporting live for us from the Rogers County Sheriff's Office, where they are relieved, Lynn, to have caught up with this man. Sheriff Scott Walton says he can't remember the last time somebody was carjacked and he thinks it's been at least a year since somebody in his county was actually robbed in person. But he says, unfortunately, this local woman was the first on a list of people that Atnip vic victimized over this weekend. An early Saturday morning walk out onto her driveway was first confusing. It was a, a car leader. In, in the driveway beside my car. And quickly turned terrifying. Uh, the guy uh, comes from behind my house, charging at me with the gun, pointing at me. This victim was willing to share her story over the phone, but was still too shaken up from the ordeal to go on camera. The Rogers County Sheriff's Office says Brandon Atnip had stolen the ATV from the Rural Water Department building down the road. But what started as a joy ride turned violent when he decided he needed a real vehicle. It changes dramatically when we, we whoop out a gun, stick it in somebody's face, and take their belongings. She said that, throw the keys. Despite the terrifying ordeal, she says she feels lucky because deputies told her Atnip was only beginning. That he went on to Craig County, dumped that car, and acquired another one in the same fashion. The Venita police chief told us Atnip held a woman at gunpoint near Ketchum Saturday afternoon. Then on Sunday, kidnapped a man and forced him to drive him to an ex's house in Venita, where he was barricaded for an hour before surrendering through a window. Nobody like that needs to be running around. He's a dangerous guy. Atnip is in the Craig County Jail tonight. Now, the Veneta police chief told me some disturbing details about his past, and I also learned something about his time in prison that deputies here say makes him even more dangerous. I'll have that ready for you in the next hour. Reporting live in Rogers County, covering news that matters, I'm Lynn Casey, Fox 23 News.